Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to talk once again about a great feature of Windows 10 and it's also available on Windows 11. But in this video we're just going to show you how to activate it because by default it is not available. And it's a feature called Windows Sandbox. And in the next video I'll give you plenty of examples why Windows Sandbox could be something very interesting even if you think, well, I'm not sure that would be a feature I'd use, you might actually change your mind with all of the possibilities that I will actually give you in the next video when using the Windows Sandbox. So Windows Sandbox, for those that don't know what it is, it's basically Windows within Windows. You're running Windows in Windows, but in a virtualized environment that is closed down, and that means that what you do in there stays in there. You know, when we say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, what happens in the sandbox stays in the sandbox. So how do you actually activate a feature, first of all, because you need to do so? What you'll do is you'll want to go to the control panel. So just search for the control panel. In the control panel, you will have programs and features. On the left side, you will have turn on, turn Windows features on or off. Click that, and it will actually add a list of features that you might want to turn on or off. Go down the list. On the bottom, or not far from the bottom, you'll have Windows Sandbox. You'll need to put a check mark here and click OK. And you're going to see Windows is going to start fetching for the files required to do so. It's going to then uh, install the Windows Sandbox by itself. And at the end, when all is done, it's going to ask you to restart. And that's when your Sandbox will be available at the restart. Now, one of the things to know is that Windows Sandbox works on most modern PCs, but the virtualization needs to be enabled um, in the BIOS of your computer. Uh, so first of all, the CPU, the processor you're using, needs to be able to do virtualization, and then you need to enable it in, if it's not enabled within the BIOS of the machine. And most modern machines, it's automatically enabled. But there are some computers where you need to go to the BIOS and find the virtualization options and turn them on to make sure that they are available. Uh, for example, my old Toshiba that is a Core i5 from about 2013 had that option, but it needed to be turned on in the BIOS. It was not by default. So when all of that is okay, when you've installed Windows Sandbox and it restarted, that's when the fun will begin. And all you'll have to do is simply um, issue the command Sandbox or search for Sandbox in the, uh, in the search box or Windows Sandbox in the Start menu. Next video, I will give you reasons why the Sandbox is a good idea and might actually be a lot of fun, even if you think that you're too basic on your computer PC to really need such a feature. Um, you'll see that everybody can use that feature and have fun with it, and it's a great way to learn more. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.